Huge news for everyone using GitHub Copilot. Cloud Opus 4.5 is finally, and I mean finally, available in Copilot's agent mode. This isn't just an update. This is a game changer. For the last two days, I've been testing it extensively. Backend refactoring, documentation, merge conflicts, CLI tools, across everything. And I can tell you without hesitation, this is the best model you can use in Copilot right now. Better than Gemini 3 Pro, better than Sonnet. But there's the thing, there's a catch with pricing that you need to know about and a deadline you don't want to miss. Stick around because we're breaking down exactly what changed, what it costs and how to get it working today. Great, such an awesome news. So let's dive into this topic related to Claude Opus 4.5 in Copilot agent mode. This is brilliant news and let's check what's new here. So public preview launch started at November 24th uh, and for the first time we have such advanced model in GitHub Copilot in the agent mode, which is really awesome. Remember though that this is VS Code and GitHub Com uh, exclusive right now uh, and it is available starting from the uh, Copilot Pro plan, which costs only 10 US dollars. Crazy. We have links in the description below with official resources. Let me quickly show you how do they look like. So here we have the announcement uh, blog post from the GitHub about the Opus 4.5 being available uh, in public preview. You can take a look at this if you have time, uh, just, you know, check the description below. Uh, this is interesting uh, part uh, of the docs from the GitHub that about the supported AI models in GitHub Copilot. Let's very quickly recap through that uh, because we have some uh, nice information here, supported AI models per client. So we can see here that really Cloud Opus is available only uh, here. Here we have info about uh, which plan does support. Here we have information about models multipliers. Here is a blog post from Anthropic if you would like to go through that on your own pace uh, with some benchmarks. Uh, in short, they show that Opus is really impressive and really great. So let's start from pricing. And as you saw uh, in this documentation from GitHub, current price is one premium request per usage, and this is available through uh, December uh, 5th, starting from 6th, it will cost three premium requests. So how much does it cost when, uh, if you would like to use it via API? So uh, 1 million input tokens cost around five US dollars, output cost 25 US dollars. Uh, just to remind for you guys who are not aware of that, uh, previous version of Cloud Opus 4.1 output tokens costed three times more, so 75 US dollars. I don't remember the input, but output was three times higher. Thanks to the price decrease, we have this tool available in GitHub Copilot agent mode, which is awesome. Thank you. Let's dive quickly into how to enable this. So if you are private uh, license user, so pro, pro or pro plus plan, you can do it directly in the VS code. So just uh, click to the drop down, select uh, Cloud Opus 4.5, and then you will have to uh, grant one time approval. Uh, when you are business uh, license or enterprise users, you have to ask your administrator about enabling this model, then you will be able to pick that from model picker in VS Code. It starts to be interesting when you will just use this model because my observations regarding performance are really great. When it comes to speed, model is really fast. So I thought it will be pretty slow, like we had, I don't know, GPT-5 at the beginning was so slow in response. So I thought like here we'll have something similar, but it's really fast. So in my opinion, it solves tasks faster than Claude Sonnet 4.5. Quality, this is 
top model that is available right now. So you won't find better tool to do your job, especially if you work on heavy backend tasks and stuff like this with huge or complicated business logic. This is the best model you can get. Consistency is also really great. So I had, even if I worked uh, and met this, you know, summarization history, blah, 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 because I was close to the limit of the tokens cutoff, uh, it was still very nice, re very nice results. So I can only recommend this. And when it comes to the integration, uh, everything that I was using before with other models here works only better. So I was amazed by that. And jumping to the MCP uh, tools integration. So in my opinion, similar thing like here, um, when I gave MCP servers uh, access to the model, I saw only increase in quality, I would say, in quality of how model uses uh, MCP servers. So it used them exactly when it was needed, uh, not too much, not too less uh, numbers, just as much as it was needed. And it used variety of available tools, um, especially if you have good written agents or prompts, this works perfectly. So, you know, I mean, a way better than it works in Cloud Sonnet 4.5 or in Gemini 3 Pro, which actually already works very good. <laughs> So I was amazed by that. So let's recap a few important dates. Like right now we have this promotional pricing. I hope it's still the time for that. Starting from December 6th, it will be three premium, premium requests per usage. Still, in my opinion, it's really worth. Uh, current status in public is public preview. So the bottom line as a quick recap, in my opinion, it's game changer for developers, software architects and stuff like that. In my opinion, I will use it for heavy development for business logic. Uh, like here, I mentioned a few uh, immediate use cases. So when I will plan architecture or analyze complicated legacy code or stuff like that, Cloud Opus 4.5 will be my uh, model of choice for sure. All right, here's what you do next. Enable Opus 4.5 in VS Code while promotional pricing is still active. I hope it is. Then grab the five copy-paste prompts I've prepared. They are all linked below. I've also made a deep dive video walking through each one. You will see this at the end. Test it, let me know what you think in the comments. And if you found this useful, hit subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you in this next video. From my side, it's highest recommendation to use whenever you can uh, Cloud Opus 4.5 in Copilot agent mode. Really, it's worth it.